UK to ban LGBT conversion therapy and provide more support. Here's a summary of the article. Britain will move to ban conversion therapy and provide more support to those in the LGBT community who have undergone the treatment, as part of its post-pandemic government agenda. Prime Minister Boris Johnson's government said measures would be brought forward to prevent these abhorrent practices which can cause mental and physical harm, starting with a consultation on how best to protect people and how to eliminate coercive practices. Johnson's party has come under increasing pressure on the issue after former leader Theresa May vowed in 2018 to eradicate a procedure that aims to change or suppress someone's sexual orientation or gender identity. Some faith leaders had argued that a wide ban could implicate those who offer pastoral support including prayer. Setting out the new parliamentary agenda in a briefing document alongside the Queen's speech, the government said, we will ensure medical professionals, religious leaders, teachers and parents can continue to be able to have open and honest conversations with people. A 2017 national LGBT survey found that 5% of those who responded reported being ordered, and 2% reported having undergone, conversion therapy. In more than half of the cases the therapy was offered or conducted by faith organizations. This post received a score of 8,900, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. They banned it for everybody except therapists and the church, that is 99% of conversion therapy that is not covered. Anybody can still call themselves a therapist as it's not a protected title. This does nothing, it's a complete farce to get brownie points while doing nothing to solve the problem. This needs to be up top. This, ban, is a load of bullshit. It's not actually banning the harmful shit. It's making the specific groups you mentioned exempt from this ban. They can still do their bullshit even if this ban goes through. You'll be happy to know it's the top comment now. Positively surprised by it, given that I was five hours late to the thread. Can someone tell the DUP? I didn't even know this was a thing anymore. Wow. I love you all gays who went through this or were threatened with it. My first thought. How is this still a thing? Would it work on straight people? Could they make people gay? I say let's give it a go. Try it on these goblins who push this stuff. It's harmless. Right. No, it only works on frogs. I watched a lecture by a world-renowned expert. Good. Torturing people. That's what a good deal of this quackery is. To try and fail. To make them not gay is fucking bonkers. You're attracted to who you're attracted to, simple as that. Nope. They're doing a consultation, to check in with religious communities and the like. You know, the main group's doing the torture. Stop calling it therapy. It's abuse. Conversion abuse and torture. Seriously, I haven't thought of these in a long time so when I read the headline I thought they were banning transgender surgeries. And you're right, these places just torture folks into suppressing their desires so they can get the fuck out. And even if it does work, on some people I've never read a story where that's the end. It's always that person having a lifelong identity crisis until they are able to go back and accept themselves as they are. A life of turmoil and struggle just so your parents can say they fixed their kid. Fuck that. It's shameful that we've waited this long to do it. What's worse is that there's going to be a public consultation for religious people to express why they don't want the ban. Fuck doing anything in the name of religion in any scope. Especially something like this. Reminds me of all the Islamic religious parents who protested outside schools when the government said teachers have to tell their kids that gay people exist. Literally just that they exist. I kept thinking about the gay kids in those schools and how much fear those hateful morons must have been causing them. The UK is an open society. Your kids have a right to know that your worldview isn't the only worldview. If you can't keep them in your worldview without hiding the rest of the world from them then maybe your worldview just sucks. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.